The technical team, please try to trace the member for Yata. You can move to the next. Let me move this. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me the chance. I thank you to the sponsors of the motion, Madam Honorable Wamuchomba, if I'm right. These are good motion, although we need to be specific on what we are standardizing, because for me, we need to standardize the uh, cost of the uniform. Currently, if you look at the uniform, there are schools who are, which are charging more than the actual cost of the uniforms. Uh, this is actually adding more burden and actually barring many students from accessing education. I also want to say that we should not standardize color. If you standardize color, it will mean more burden for parents for you to be able to face out all the uniforms. So let's try to focus on price because currently many students are actually at home because the actual cost of uniform is denying them the chance to go to school. Another very important element which I want to put across, if the government is able to pay for free education in terms of providing other aspects of education, at the same time supporting KDF and other forces with the free uniforms, why can they not do the same for poor students? So perhaps would, uh, it would be important to put a policy that is tasking the government to provide free uh, uniforms for schools or for students across the country. Another important element which I thought could be nice to focus on, on standardization, maybe in the near future we may also look at the design. I do remember when I, we were back in school, you could see a very huge variance when it comes to what students from poor backgrounds used to wear and what students from rich or the urbanites are wearing. And this is setting some form of discrimination when it comes to appearance because the essence of having a standardized uniform is to bring homogeneity on education. And if this cannot be realized, then we may go the United States way where you find students in the United States don't, don't necessarily have to wear uniforms particularly in the public schools. So this is something that we need to put it straight in the particular motion, which I think after this, after a few revisions, we can put it as a bill. And then uh, lastly, uh, I think for the movers of the motion, um, personally I'll be happy to do, to make my inputs to the drafting of the bill and uh, to be able to make sure that it resonates with the realities and the priorities of different areas uh, that we represent across the country. Thank you, and uh, happy to get that moment to contribute further. Thanks. Uh, thank you very much. The Honorable Abdul Haro, member for Mandera South. Thank you, <coughs> Honorable Speaker. Uh, the poet Mark Twain said this on standardization. I don't see any use in having a uniform and arbitrary way of spelling words. We might as well make all clothes alike and cook all dishes alike. Sameness is tiresome, variety is pleasing. The Honorable Speaker, as you have heard from the contribution of Honorable Members, this motion is quite confusing. Uh, and the, conf the confusion is centered around whether the standardization is about having similar uniform for all schools in the country or whether the standardization is about the cost of uniform. Honorable Speaker, I think if the idea is to have the burden on parents lessened in terms of cost, then we can propose to do things, two things as a country. Either we abolish uniform altogether and, and parents don't have any cost on, on, on uniform, or uh, like uh, uh, other members have suggested, we put the cost of uniform in the capitation so that uh, the, the, there is no uniform, uh, the parents don't pay for any uniform at school. As we are now, every school has a uniform. And, and, and I think if, if, we, if we remain, if we want it to remain